how come you become this person who takes care of the whole process, you know, style the model and then grab the camera and then keep going? Well, because when you work so hard on creating the looks, assembling them, and you already have that whole story in your mind before the photographer even gets on set, and then the photographer shoots it from his or her vantage point. Mm -hmm. So one day I just thought, you know what, if I work so hard on putting it together, I may as well press the button myself. <laughs> from how I see it, you know? It's like asking somebody, you know, like, well, not to compare myself to Leonardo, but uh, if Leonardo said, you know what, could you draw Mona Lisa, but can you make sure that her mouth goes a little bit high, so it's like a little mysterious, and can you make her, just draw it yourself. So if you want to get anything done, do it yourself. Do it yourself. <laughs> so it doesn't mean I don't work with other photographers. I absolutely do. I, I totally do. As long as they share my vision and I share theirs, and uh, they know that it's called fashion photography for a reason. When you don't see fashion, it's not fashion photography, it's just photography. So when I get a picture and I don't see the dress, I don't see the jewelry, but I perfectly see fog or darkness <laughs> or a piece of elbow, then that's not fashion photography. What am I going to tell designers? I, I, I can tell you had a trauma. Really. <laughs> it, it caused psychological harm. Yeah, you work so hard and you don't see your work. But it's true. Would you like that?